So if I'm a Phillies fan, I'm kind of like, what the, what's going on? The owners come out and said, can't afford any big contracts this offseason. Not bringing back JT Real Muto, which doesn't make sense. Arietta's gone. David Robertson's gone. Didi Gregorius is probably not being brought back. There are plenty of players that are making a lot of money that aren't being brought back or were making a lot of money that aren't being brought back. You could definitely reinvest all that money you just got back into Real Muto or any of the other big name free agents. It just kind of sounds like the owner is being a little bit of a, you know what, because he doesn't want to spend any more money. The problem is he's gone out and spent money in the wrong places and really hasn't built a winning team. So it's kind of his fault that he's spent all this money and hasn't really won. And I get, you know, this year's been tough financially for a lot of people. But if that's the main reason you don't want to go out and spend money, it, that's that's bogus. So today we're going to we're going to we're going to make fun of the Phillies a little bit. We're going to do a cheap skate rebuild with the Philadelphia Phillies. And I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you do, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And of course, get in the comment section. If you're a Phillies fan, let me know. If you're not a Phillies fan, you can make fun of them. But let, let, let's be let's be somewhat civil about it. And let's get into it. Uh, where are the Phillies on this list? Why can't I find them? Boom, there we go. Let's hop into it and get in this rebuild. So, the whole challenge of this is to be as cheap as possible and still try to be a winning team, which is maybe the approach that the Phillies need to do. Maybe take a little bit of a money ball approach because you look, we're over budget, so they would definitely be in the luxury tax area. And uh, it, it's my approach isn't going to be money ball of like who does really well be, and like pay them little. I'm literally just going to be super cheap and try to make my make the best team possible so let's look at this Arietta's going to be gone after this year you know ddj bruce robertson a couple other guys honestly probably need to get rid of andrew mccutcheon probably need to get rid of gene segura and then bryce harper i could see him requesting a trade in real life you know he was promised a winning team with philadelphia and he's not going to get that now or for the foreseeable future I could see Bryce Harper being like, shit me, I don't want to be here anymore. And they probably would get more in return for Bryce Harper than they would Zach Wheeler. Probably going to have to trade Zach or uh, Bryce Harper. So my challenge with this is I'm going to try to stay above $1.5 for the budget. I don't think I've ever done that before. So that one's going to be a huge challenge. I think I'm going to have enough to sign draft picks. So I'm going to see you guys at the draft, see what players we can get there. Hopefully we can get some really good ones to help us out with the team. Otherwise, we're kind of in a tough spot and we're going to have to see how free agency goes. So let's hop into it, see how it goes. All right, so there's two picks I want to show you that I was a little unsure about. The first one was this guy. This guy was taken right after us, Ahmad Lin. 94 potential, 67 overall. And then there was a catcher that I was somewhat... All right, all right, he wasn't actually that good. 71 potential. So I'm actually glad I kind of missed out on him. So now let's go check out our picks. And I didn't know the Phillies didn't have a second round pick. So that kind of screwed me over. But here we go. Boom. There we are. 93 potential. 69 overall for BJ Elkins. He's a pitcher. Needs some pitching help. So he could be pretty solid. Vernon Miter or Meter. Mitre. 63 overall. Got really good potential or power though. Could be our catcher for the future. I don't really know. 76 potential, 86 potential for this uh, for this third baseman, and then 77 potential for this starting pitcher. So it was okay. Um, I'm kind of hoping this pitcher develops very quickly, but um, some okay picks. Just I was kind of hoping for players that'll develop quickly. That way we don't have to spend money on free agents later on. So I'll see you guys at the offseason. All right, so now that we're in free agency, we're in... A, a tricky spot because like I'm looking at this team and he's not being brought back he's not being brought back he's not being brought back which the Phillies just traded for him and I'm pretty sure they're not bringing him back uh Didi Didi's a player that could be cheap that I could definitely bring back I don't think he's being brought back in real life but we're trying to be cheap right David Phelps how'd you do this year pretty atrocious so I probably don't want you on the team I don't want Jay Bruce Jose Alvarez wasn't great normally you're pretty good what the heck man 
I'm going to take a shot on you, though, because I know you're pretty cheap. So we're going to give you that bullpen. 1.5 million for the next two years. I'll make it a club option just in case you do poorly. I can get rid of you. But there's that. How much does DD want realistically? Five mil? Ooh, that's... You know what? That's that's not bad. That's not bad. 4.8 mil for a starting shortstop. That's like chump change nowadays. That's super cheap. Right now, we're around 6 mil. Just under 6 mil for the budget. We are going to need some pitching help. Because I'm looking at it. He's not coming back. I know that. And then a couple of these guys aren't coming back. So... Yeah, we're, we're going to need some help. Phil Gosselin, I don't really want him starting. Gene's going to get traded. Bryce Harper, most likely going to get traded. If we can get something really good in return, Kutch probably isn't coming back. Yeah, we're, we're in a little bit of trouble here because if we're trying to save some money, we're going we're gonna to need a lot, a lot of help. So, 40-man, I'll add a couple guys. I'm not bringing back Oduwo Herrera. I don't even know if he's still in the Phillies organization, to be honest. Um, Adam Morgan, what's, what's the arbitration offer? 1.5 mil. I think we could work with that. And then what about Phil Gosselin? What are we paying you? Oh, you know what? Okay. So as long as they're cheap, I'm going to bring them back. What about Hector Neres? What are you making? Four mil? I don't know about that one. That, that might be a guy that has to, you know, take a hike contracts, probably going to offer it to everybody there. And then free agency, like I said, we're going to have to be cheapskates. So we're going to have to find the deals. You know, we're going to be have to going through the clearance rack, seeing what we can find. So, all right. So the first trade I'm going to do is a pretty big salary dump for the athletics. I'm going to give them Gene Segura for Mike Miner and Tyler Soderstrom. I know Mike Miner just signed with the Royals in real life, but we get like a catching prospect who could be good, could be bad. I mean, looking at his attributes, probably ain't going to do much anytime soon. But Mike Miner gives us a long reliever on a $2.6 million contract. Like I said, we're going to be cheap. We could have gotten a little bit more, but realistically, what's available with the athletics right now, there really wasn't much that I could have taken. So I'm just going to take what I can get. All right. So this one, I need a reliever that I can trust. Aaron Bummer, haven't gotten him in a while. He's usually let me down the last couple rebuilds that I have gotten him. But I've noticed he's on a really, really friendly contract for the next, you know, four seasons. We're going to pick him up. He had a decent year this year. Gives us a lefty to rely on. We're going to trade Kutch and his big contract to the White Sox with uh, Cole Irving as well. So, boom. That should also shed some contract for us. We're up to 6.4. So, I think we should be fine. I'll see you guys next season. So before the season starts, I'm going to make a couple more trades. Not because I'm trying to shed contract, because I actually was pretty cheap this offseason. And I mean, I was really cheap. But um, I need a fifth starter, and none of the free agents that, that were available looked good. So I'm going to trade for Paul Blackburn of the Athletics for Greg Bird. I know, the best first baseman in baseball. Um, Ronald Torres and also Eniel De Los Santos. So that gives us our fifth starter. And then I need to see where the team's kind of sitting right now because, like, I know we're not good, but um, I need so I need to improve it. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So I'm going through the squad, and I thought I went super cheap. Like I was offering really low contracts. I wasn't picking up like big name players, but I was wrong. Huh? How? Uh, so yeah, definitely one of these two guys needs to go. Like it, it, it has to be done. And then um, I'm gonna show you our off season because like I didn't go crazy. So, like, I want to know where my money went. Paul Blackburn, just got him. Um, let's kind of see. We got Aaron Bummer in a trade. Super cheap. You know, Mike Miner, super cheap. Signed Scott Oberg to, what, $2 million? Super small contract. Michael Brosseau, signed him. $1 million. Super cheap contract. Jason Kipnis was a little bit of an overspend. $4 million. Probably going to get rid of him now that I'm thinking about it. Domingo Santana, $2 mil, Super cheap um who else tyler stevenson signed him 80k are you kidding me and then uh jose martinez was what 2 million 1.5 and garrett cooper 2 mil where is our money what like i'm going through this and i know there's some players that are probably earning a little bit more like victor arano adam morgan you got what spencer howard's making a mil a mil a mil and then, like, going down the list, there's some players like J.D. Hammer, probably no. But, like, there's there's 
where's our money? Why do we have no money? That's so I guess I got to make a trade. And sadly, I think it has to be this guy here. I think it has to be. It's just because like I'm pretty sure his contract goes up. And, oh, it actually stays the same. Oh, okay. So maybe Zach Wheeler is the move. He had a really good year last year. I got to give it to him. Oh, man. Who's, who's most likely to get traded if we're in a situation like this? It probably is Bryce Harper, which is going to pain me to do it. Oh boy, I gotta figure out a trade. All right, so before I trade Harper, I wanted to get rid of Kipnis because I realized I was paying him way too much and I can find a second baseman for a lot cheaper with similar production. So we're gonna trade Velasquez, Kipnis, and Medina. Didn't want to trade Medina, but we're gonna get Alex Manoa, who I'm pretty sure is, yeah, these are the Blue Jays, but I guess the Blue Jays traded him to the Rangers. He looks really solid, super cheap contract as well. So now I found a trade and this is really like the only trade that interests me. The thing is, it does kind of set us back in terms of development. And by develop, development, I mean like being a contender immediately. And it, it means we got to take Dexter Fowler, which is like, oh boy. Um, but it gets us closer to that mark of 1.5 million that I wanted to stay over. I mean, even if I can get to a million, that'd be huge. But we're going to get Dylan Carlson and Matthew Libertor. And then Dexter Fowler. If I could add a couple other players, I would take, you know, like, yeah, maybe like a Tommy Edmond or like just something to make this deal a little bit sweeter. Because I feel like we could, you know, like a Nolan Gorman, because I feel like we could definitely get more out of this deal. It's just we can't. But Dylan Carlson and Matthew Lieber Liebertor, I feel like that's an OK one. Can, and, can I even trade Dexter Fowler? I can. Oh. Oh. I didn't think I was going to be able to. Oh, okay. So now, let me, can I get a prospect for Dexter Fowler? No. Oh, I'm going to find a prospect for Dexter Fowler. Okay. So this deal actually works out pretty well. It gets us to back over a million, which I think I'm going to be happy for this year. We're going to pick up Jason Castro and Zach Davies for Dexter Fowler, Tyler Soderstrom, and then Luis Garcia. Again, not a prospect I wanted to trade. But we get a pitcher for this year. We get a catcher for this year. And then um, we can let Manoa develop one more season in the minors, which I'm actually okay with. I think that's a little bit better of a move for us. So a lot of moves being made. I'm going to send. Oh, he's a rule five pick. Oh, boy. That. What? Why is he a rule five pick? That just threw a wrench all in my plans. Wow. Okay. Why is that the case? Why is that the case? I mean, that that sucks. Um hmm why? Just why? Why? Okay. Huh. So who's getting sent down? Uh probably Tyler Stevenson for the year. Why is he a rule 5 pick? Why would he be a rule 5 pick? That makes no sense at all. Okay, we're going to rock with it. This is the team. Um, I, I guess that's the squad. We're gonna have to figure out what to do financially going forward because we are gonna have some players starting to hit the bud, you know, free agency. But um, yeah, I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not great. That's another thing is like, it's not great. I'm kind of interested to see where we're ranked as a team. 20th makes sense. We're not good. We're not good at all. I mean, Phil Gosselin's in our starting lineup, which that should tell you a lot. Dylan Carlson should not be there either. I'm pro I don't even know what to do with this team, guys. This is uh this is definitely throwing me for a loop, that Manoa thing. But offensively, I think we'll be okay. I'm no, that's a lie. Offensively, we're gonna be terrible. Pitching, we should be okay though. Like this is actually a pretty solid pitching staff. I'm pretty happy with it. You know what? We'll figure it out. I've already failed because I wasn't able to get it over to 1.5. But wow, that was difficult. So we're gonna leave it at this. And we're just going to go. We're going to see how it works. See you guys at the end of the season. Don't ask me how we did it. Don't. I, I don't know. 91 and 71. We're a wild card team. What? Huh? <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it at all. We, we, we weren't even close to the division. We were 15 games out. But how did we? How? How? How did we make it to the wild card? I'm... I'm befuddled. I'm baffled. But um, okay, let's let's take a look around the league. 
Um, Charlie Blackman. Okay, Jordan. Jordan's back on top. It's been a while since we've seen some of that. But, um, okay. You know what? I will take that. I will take that. I doubt we're going to have, like, any league leaders or close to it. I don't even see anybody on the home runs list, which is not a good sign. But if you think about our team, we really didn't have anybody that, you know, could be in the mix. We did have an award, which was a gold glove, which whoop de doo you know. Jordan MVP with 59 and 57 for Eloy. Wow. All right. Cy Young went to Kershaw. All right. And Snell. All right. Okay. What else do we got here? Yates. Holy cow. Look at those two. Jeez, that's gross. Even Josh Hader had a gross. Of course. Of course. Of course. Hector Norris leaves. He gave us, what, a four ERA last year? A four and a half. Oh, he only pitched 12 innings? Why did he only pitch 12 innings? Why did I not notice that? Oh, boy. That's a big oof on my part. And he signed for 1.4 million. Oh, no. Uh, Dylan Carlson got second in the rookie of the year. Oh, boy. That's a... Yikes. That's a big yikes on my part. But Mike Miner was pretty solid. I'll take that. Uh, Blackburn was okay. Not fantastic, but we'll see how much he wants next year. Sir Anthony Dominguez was solid. Victor Arana was pretty garbage. 11 innings only for Jose Alvarez. So it's kind of tough to judge him on that. I probably should have noticed that with Hector Neris, but We'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. Overall, pretty happy with the, the starting uh, bullpen area. Rotation. Aaron Nola, please. We've had this conversation before. We've done this. We're going to get to a World Series. We're going to, we're gonna oh, first off, we're going to do well in the postseason. And we're going to get to a World Series. And I'm going to have so much faith in you to be my ace. Don't make me look stupid this time. Because last time, you really screwed me. So let's. Let's just avoid all that again, and let's have a good time, all right? Zach Wheeler, pretty solid season. Zach Davies, well, you know what? As a three, I can work with that. I can't work with that, though. That's bad. And then I wanted you in the minors, but you know what? We'll, we'll work around it, and we'll figure out a way to make it work. So overall, you know what? We're looking pretty solid. We're looking pretty solid. I can't, uh, I can't complain about the pitching staff, which normally as a Phillies fan, you probably are freaking out about the pitching staff. Andrew Knapp, have yourself a season. You know, not bad. Michael Rousseau, pretty solid season as well. I'll definitely take that. If a million is on the contract too, I'm I'm pick, I'm picking it up. Same with Domingo Santana. I'm taking that because it was a super cheap contract. Two million? Yes. Phil Goslin, probably not bringing you back. Sorry, bud. Just can't do it. All right. Didi Gregorius, again, four million, five million, probably not bringing you back. I got to be cheap. I got to be cheap. Um, Jose Martinez was decent, was okay, you know, similar to Didi, but a lot cheaper. Reese Hoskins, great season. Last year of arbitration too, oh boy. Um, Alec Bohm, fantastic season. Dylan Carlson, really good year as well. Jason Castro, I mean, 32 home runs for a catcher. If I could sign you for less than 4 million, maybe like three or two and a half, I'm bringing you back for sure. Gary Cooper, respectable year, and then Scott Kingery. I need you to, I need you to start elevating that bat a little bit more. But overall, pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with it. Bryson Stott, I don't think, you know, MLB the show wise, he's ready. But we're, we're gonna have to make it work. I think he's got to be our starting shortstop. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Game one, boom, we win four to two. Oh man, this, are we really about to do this? Are we really about to do this? Are we really about to do this? All right, we're taking on the Braves, division rivals. Boom, we get that win. We take a loss there. Nola, we get a win. Okay. What is going on? We're taking on the, the Brewers. Okay, so Eflin is up right now, but we're gonna we're gonna do this. Eflin, Nola, Davies? No. No, 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 no. Yeah, some some like Something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something. We're going to figure it out on the fly. So, Wheeler, game one. We take a loss. That's disappointing. Game two, we get the win, though. Game three, another win. Game four, a loss. I need I need um, Wheeler on the mound here. And then Nola there. And then Eflin as the number three. Okay. We need to win this one. This one is crucial. Boom. We take one nothing. Oh, one nothing. Nola, keep us alive. 
two to three loss, and it was Adam Morgan again. Ooh, why, why, why did we go to him? Okay, so Adam Morgan's not coming back. I'm not doing this again. You let me down. You hurt my feelings. I got to get rid of you. Pool holes retires. Kind of figured that would be the case. DD, sorry, bud. Can't bring you back. Zach Davies, how much do you want? Seven mil? Nope, sorry, bud. Can't do it. <laughs> Just can't do it. Uh, it's too much money. Four mil. What if I, like, really just lowball you here? That doesn't seem like you're interested. Three and a half? Actually, Andrew Knapp had a pretty good year. And we also have Tyler Stevenson. So, you know what? Jason Castro. Sorry, bud. Can't have you. Um, Garrett Cooper or Jose Martinez. That's really... This one... What was his contract? One and a half million. Mike Miner. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think out loud. I'm trying to keep you guys involved here. So if Eflin leaves, we can move Blackburn or one of those other pitchers over. Or not Eflin. Davies. Davies leaves. And then we can go Nola, Wheeler, Eflin. Like Blackburn, Manoa. Right? Uh, basically... Okay, so this is what it's going to be. Davies leaves. Mike Miner probably doesn't want that much money. Three mil. I'll give you the bullpen option. How does that sound? Three mil for a long reliever. I'm going to withdraw it because I think we have someone in the in the minors that could do the job. Garrett Cooper, respectable season. He's a little bit younger than Jose Martinez. So I'm going to take this two million option. I'm going to let Jose Alvarez go. And that's, that's, that's our negotiations? Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Would you like to stop simulating? Of course I would. What just happened there? I just simulated way too quickly. All right. 40 man. I'm, I don't want JD Hammer back. I got to get rid of him. He's making like close to a million. So no, 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 no. We, we're, we're getting rid of that. Adam Morgan ain't coming back. I'm pretty sure he had a decent year too. Yeah, he did. But you, I can't bring you back if you're going to let me down in the postseason. And then... If I offer him arbitration, it's going to be the same of, like, the the contract that I offer him. So, let's just go. I'm, I'm going to think about Adam Morgan because lefty relievers are really tough to find. So, I probably will bring back Adam Morgan. And I'm probably going to bring back everybody there. Contracts. I'm going to give it to everybody. And then, what's our budget? Four million? Realistically, I don't think we can sign anybody <laughs> um, if I'm trying to stay over a million. So this is going to be our starting five, which doesn't look terrible. Spencer Howard does look very close to being called up. And then looking at the bullpen, maybe like Ranger Suarez comes up to be that longer lever. And I feel like we should be able to like be okay. I got to show you the players that I drafted because some of them were actually pretty good. Like this Dwayne Michael guy. Okay. Okay. Um, everybody else was like, eh. You know, like he's a good hitter, this Jose Montanez guy. But outside of that, meh. Free agency. We could use like a bat. I can't really afford any big name players, unfortunately. Like I said, we got to be cheap. So it's, man, who, it might just have to wait till like arbitration time and see what's available and see what we need. Cause like, Realistically, I, I don't think I can spend too much money. So I'm going to have to be super cheap this offseason. And I mean, it kind of worked out for us. I feel like focusing on pitching is probably the best part. Um, especially since it's going to be like this. Like this, probably. So if we can find a good long reliever like Mike Miner was last year. Stick with like a similar... Oh, we, we might just need a bullpen arm. So if we just get a good bullpen arm. And then maybe if we can find like a good cheap bat to help somewhere in this lineup i think we're okay i think we might actually be pretty decent you know what we might be i'll see you guys next season all right hear me out since i've already pissed off like 99 percent of phillies fans in this video let's make it worse let's make it worse we're gonna trade scott kingery and adam hazley who i feel like scott kingery oh man he was i feel like he was overhyped i really do i really do I don't know. And Scott Hazley, I, you know what? Maybe he's a good fielder, but you know what? I'd rather have Kyle Lewis on the squad. Boom. 
So with that move, I mean, like, the team's looking kind of nice, right? You know, Kyle Lewis, Alec Bohm, Hoskins, Dylan Carlson could pop off. You got Bryson Stott being called up. You know what? Like, not bad. Not bad. Pitching rotation, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, too. Spencer Howard's making his debut. Blackburn, Dominguez, Oberg, Morgan. I, I'm, I'm, I'm being generous here. I'm giving him a second chance. Let's not, let's not, you know what? Let's not screw this one up. Arano and then Bummer. Down here we got pitchers galore. B.J. Elkins, yo, B.J. Elkins looking kind of nice as a long reliever. I'm not gonna lie. And then uh, we've got my doppelganger JoJo Romero. Before he grew out his stash, I can't do it. So like, unfortunately. As much as I would, I would love to grow out the stash like he he's got the ability to. I just can't. It just it just doesn't work. Like this is the best. Like this is this is what I got. Like it's not great. So you know what? This is this is the squad. We'll we'll focus on the squad, not the inability to grow facial hair. So here we go. You know what? I mean, it may not be the best team on paper, but like last year we made the postseason. Why can't we again? We didn't really lose much. We might lose some this year with uh, Nola. That's kind of a big one. Uh, that That's the one I'm most worried about is losing Aaron Nola, which sounds crazy from my mouth, but like he's kind of like the main pitcher on the squad right now. So let's sim the year and see what happens. All right, we're at the deadline. We're actually doing pretty good. Um, this is usually like my little, my check-in time just to kind of see how the team's doing. And um, I forgot to mention, this guy was in the farm system, and he actually looks really, really good. Like, hitting stats, and he's having a phenomenal season um, compared to, like, Bryson Stott. You know, like, yeah, he's had half the at-bats, like, pretty close to half the at-bats. But he's swinging the bat really, really well, and I'm kind of tempted to throw him in the squad. Um, Domingo Santana is going to take Jose Martinez's spot. Because even though Jose Martinez is having a pretty decent year, um, Domingo Santana is just 14 home runs in half the at-bats. Like, almost the same amount of home runs. And then everybody else is like, okay, Dylan Carlson's struggling a little bit. But um, offensively, I'm not too worried about it. Pitching-wise, we're actually doing pretty solid as well. Um, Eflin's struggling a bit, and so is Manoa. We're going to call up Jojo Romero because Paul Blackburn was getting absolutely throttled. And then Adam Morgan, I'm thinking about replacing. And I'm thinking about just going to our farm system. Because we, we got a couple other guys that, like, have pretty decent stats. Like this Dwayne Michael guy that I'm actually just going to... I'm going to call him up right now. He actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to call up this Dwayne Michael guy. I'm going to send down Adam Morgan. And it actually looks like we can call up an extra bat. Do we have an extra bat? Maybe Lucius Fox, who I signed in free agency. Um, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, maybe Lucius Fox. We'll just call him up. Why not? Let's have some fun. Let's call up Lucius Fox. Yeah, there we go. So that'll be the move. That's all 26 men. So this is the, uh, the bullpen situation. I mean, people, people are still pitching well. The team's looking pretty solid. I mean, we're first in the division by eight games. So things are doing pretty solid. I mean, we won the division, which again, I'm telling you, it's wild that we're able this corner we're able to do this 92 and 70 taking on the brewers wow like how this is insane this is, this shouldn't happen um six game lead over the braves who ended up being a wild card team as well somehow we're finding a way to squeak into the postseason which is absolutely insane we actually had a six game lead which i guess really isn't squeaking um aaron bummer had the most saves that was the only thing we led the the league in which you know what i'm okay with that one one stat i'm perfectly fine with that and let's see any other offensive categories bryson stott had six triples which was half of what uh what was it trey turner had yeah that's woo uh reese hoskins is up there for home runs and then i'm not really seeing anything else offensively when you take a look at the awards we got a gold glove for garrett cooper are you serious uh, Jordan back-to-back -back world or not world series back-to-back -back MVPs and let's see what else we got here Yandy Diaz with the batting title okay Robert Stock just went absolutely unhittable Aaron Bummer was second and then rookie of the year Forrest Whitley and Corey Ray okay all right so let's take a look at the pitching rotation see how everybody did um, Jojo Romero was 
I mean, better than what Paul Blackburn was doing. Paul Blackburn had like a six ERA. Um, Sir Anthony Dominguez, pretty solid season still. Scott Oberg, definitely a lot better than what he did last year. Uh, Dwayne Michael, okay. I like seeing that in 25 innings. Jake Faria was solid. Victor Arano was outstanding. And then Aaron Bummer, really, really good. So, okay. Aaron Nola struggled. Actually, he didn't struggle. I mean, that's still a pretty good season. Wheeler, Zach Eflin, better. I'll take that. Better. Spencer Howard struggled a little bit. And then Alex Manoa, yikes. Oh, boy. We're going to have to figure that out. Do we have a starter that could come up? BJ Elkins, man. It might be BJ Elkins' season for sure. Let's take a look at the lineup and see what we got here. Okay, so, like, the bench wasn't terrible. Like, this Jose Montanez guy, I don't remember if I drafted him season one or he was part of the season two mix. He's 19, so I would assume it's probably season two draft. Wow. He is actually, like, pretty solid. Holy cow. Jeez. All right. Michael Brousseau, obviously in the leadoff hitter. He's not a leadoff guy, so he's going to struggle a little bit, but still did a decent job. You know, Kyle Lewis, respectable season. You know, that was a good pickup for us. I finally was able to pick up Kyle Lewis. Um, Alec Bohm was good. Reese Hoskins, really good. You know, Garrett Cooper struggled a little bit. Dylan Carlson, wow, he was bad. Wow, what happened? He just forgets a hit? Did they take him off hitting training? That's what it looks like. It looks like they have him on fielding training. Um, Andrew Knopp, not as good as he was last year. Bryson Stott, we'll work on it. <laughs> Domingo Santana was really good. And then back to Michael Rousseau. So yeah, offensively, definitely need to take a step forward because that was, that was pitiful. So here we go. Facing the Brewers this time. And we move on. All right. So we should be facing the, ooh, we're facing the Padres now. Uh-oh. So let's get, let's get our starters up there. I'm not really having faith in Alex Manoa. So that's that's just that's just the way it is. So Paddock versus Nola. We take a one-nothing victory. We lose the second. We lose the third. What about the fourth? Ooh, we win that one. So let's get let's get Nola back in the driver's seat. We'll have Wheeler there, Eflin there. We need to win this game. And we take a loss. And then this one, we win it. Eflin versus Lamette. Could we get could we get Nola to start it and then you know like quick manage it and then just go from there i mean uh, let's see let's see let's see what we can do here we are the away team this would be huge if we could win it like big time um so against lamette we're starting off right but that double play and then of course they go and hit a home run oh that's tough that's tough so man just a home run to start off the game like that for them Oh, then Tatis goes deep, 3-0. You got to be kidding me. Bases are loaded, though. Bases are loaded. One run scores. Okay. A strikeout. Another run scores. Okay, we're within one. That's That was a big inning right there. And then a run. They get the run back. And another. Oh, come on. Nola. I know you were on short rest, man. But I needed I needed a good outing from you. I needed it. Oh, jeez. 6-2. That's, that's not what you want. So, 6-2. We need the offense to show up. Carlson goes deep. That's big. Um, nothing else, which sucks, but we got three innings left. We got three innings. Can anything happen? Anything at all? So one, two, three. Okay. Reese Hoskins. I need you here. Nothing, nothing at all. We're just going completely cold. You know what? Is this guy righty? He is. This guy's coming in. I, I have faith. He strikes out. Okay. I, I gave too much faith. Um, we got a couple righties slash one lefty coming up. A run scores, two run scores, and that's the game. I mean, my dog even is upset that that's the way it ends. And I mean, 11 to 3. Wow, that's bad. I mean, and again, what was that? One game short of the World Series. Last season, we were two games short. We got to do one more year. We got to figure out how we can get to the World Series. So let's get into the offseason. Let's see what we can do here. The Padres defeat the Astros. Man, we got it. We're so close. We're so close. What can we do? Exclusive negotiations. Let's get into it. All right, so exclusive negotiations. I, ha I had to take a small break so I can let my dog out. Um, Nola, that's it. And then everybody else wants way too much money. I'm not I'm not sold on Eflin either. He's like been okay. Oberg wants like 6 million. Domingo Santana wants like 6, 7 million. 
Everybody else wants like five million. I'm like, no, 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 no. We ain't doing this. So it's time to be cheap. Um, did Nola sign? He did not. Man, I offered 10 years for 31 million. What? And he did not sign? Are you kidding me? You're going to be like that? I didn't even trade you this time. I'm going to add Morales. I'm going to add Lartigue. And then arbitration. Everybody, I believe. Maybe not. No, nope. Adam Morgan's not getting it this time. Neither is Paul Blackburn. Contracts. Everybody. And then free agency. It's got to be... We have a budget, so we probably could go out and sign like one player, but I'm gonna wait because I don't wanna I don't wanna get into a, uh, a sticky situation where we have to end up trading a bunch of players. So I'm gonna hold off, but I definitely want to keep what we have because we're good. It's just that I I don't want to be in like I said I don't want to be in a spot where like we have to trade players or anything like that. So we're good right now. We just gotta we gotta add a little bit more, I guess. All right, final season, final attempt at that. That World Series that is so close for us. We're going to trade Manoa, Yovera, and Casey Martin for Marco Gonzalez. And then I want to find a DH because I made some signings. And I feel like we could use just a little bit more oomph in the lineup. Um, I'm trying to figure out who I want to get rid of. I guess I should show you the, the, the squad and how we're looking. So free agency. Um, Ryan Dahl was added. Bullpen arm. He looks decent. I think he'll be okay. Just... That extra arm in the bullpen. Um, these guys were signed to kind of fill out the roster. Just traded for him. Got him on a very cheap deal. And look at his year last last two years, actually. They've been decent. They've been decent. I got him for like three mil. Like that's super cheap. He's only going to get better. Uh, we got this guy in free agency. Obviously, this was a trade. And then, oh, uh, Jonathan India was a free agent. Uh, I got him on a rookie contract. So I will take that 100%. This is what our team's looking like now. Um, offensively, I think we look really solid. I just feel like we do need a little bit more, more power. Because, like, Michael Brosseau should not be a, a, our, our DH. You know what I mean? Um, I guess we could use, like, we just need power. That's really, versus righties. Power versus righties. Uh, Marco Gonzalez slots perfectly in. BJ Elkin season. And then we're going to rock like this. I could, you know, bring up Abel, Libertor, to help us out but i just don't think they're ready like stats wise i'm looking at it and it's it's not great um you know jojo romero is pretty similar but i'm just gonna give him the spot and hopefully it all works out you know like fingers crossed type situation i said i wanted power i found power fran mil reyes it's really weird i think a lot of teams are in like f budget concerns because like i'm a lot of trades that I'm trying to make are like, uh, I can't do it because of budgetary restraints. So, I don't know. This is putting us just under the million cap, which I uh, didn't really want to do. You'll see, we're, we're like, we're just under it. Um, but that does give us that, like, that bat that I wanted. I'll even move them up in the lineup. So, it'll probably be something like this. It'll probably be like this. And then... We'll, we'll move think no i don't want bone leading off i'll probably have ooh who's our leadoff hitter um is it bryson stott <laughs> and then lewis in the two spot uh but yeah this is kind of the team i like it i really do i think this is a really good squad this is a really good squad um i gotta find a way to get within budget i i really don't know how to do that unless i trade like jojo romero which I think that's like really the only way I could do it. Um, who else could be traded that like I don't really like Michael Brosseau? Because technically now he's kind of extra. I mean, we could just trade him plus like a, a reliever and then just go from there. Super cheap contract. But like, I guess that's really like the only way that we could do it. And then let's just find like a, a reliever that's just been like nuts and out of their mind since oh what's this guy like hasn't pitched yet can't get him okay um i didn't want him anyways so psh, whatever john brebia it works but like i need someone that's going to get me under that million cap that i kind of set myself which i normally sit around but like i feel like i at least got to stick to it since you know it's like this is kind of like a, a cheap rebuild you know what i mean so can't trade within the division where are we gonna go who's 
Who's got somebody? Anybody. I, I Like, just give me somebody. Like, there's got to be somebody, right? Patrick Sandoval? Is he good? No, he's not. Where are all my good relievers at? Where did they just disappear? Do they not exist anymore? What's going on? Can I have Cody Stashik? Does that work? Boom. There we go. We've stayed over a million, which shouldn't have been that hard. I've, obviously, having Wheeler and Nola, you know, big contracts, that's, that's kind of a pain. But you know what? For the most part, that's okay. I feel like we've bu we've done pretty pretty well on like the whole being cheap front. You know, we've only given out one big contract and most of them have just been one or two year deals for players to just kind of fill those roles that we have. You know, like going out and getting Aaron Bummer who his highest paid year was 4 mil and then otherwise we've been just kind of relying on like young players and players that have been super cheap. So I mean like it's been pretty cheap as my voice cracks. See you guys at the end of the year. All right, we did it again. We won the division, 94 and 68, taking on the Brewers. I thought it said the Braves, but it was the Brewers. Um, let's take a look here. What do we got? 94, 68, 382 team ERA, 273 team average. We're actually ranked 14th, which I think is our highest rating since we've done this. And uh, all right, you know what? I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. We got some league leaders. Kyle Lewis had the most walks and the best war, and that was it. I thought there was something else that we let in. Maybe it was uh, something pitching wise, but you know what? I'll take that. That's a, that's a win for sure. Kyle Lewis had 42 doubles. I see that. No triples. Uh, what about home runs? Ooh, Lewis, Hoskins, and Fran Mill Reyes. So that was definitely huge for us. So the offense really took a step up. I mean, adding Fran Mill Reyes in franchise is like the, the most broken thing in the world. So. Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> that's just what it is. We got two gold gloves. Keston. Keston Hira. <laughs> Keston Hira was the MVP. Bo Bichette. Okay. So two names we don't normally see. I'll take that. Uh, Bryce Harper was up there for batting title. He's He's been quietly, like, really good for the Cardinals. It's just, you know, we had to be cheap. We had to be cheap. And uh, I felt like pitching was a little bit more important for this rebuild, you know, with how... Uh, offense is so easy to find on franchise so I just felt like pitching was probably the best way to spend our money so Dwayne Michael I mean he's he's looking like a really good pickup for us what was that first season second season I think it was actually second season uh, Jake Faria wasn't bad Cody Stashik was good Sir Anthony Dominguez is looking amazing 107 strikeouts in 83 innings uh, Victor Arano was lights out and Aaron Bummer had his worst year but still Pretty solid. 13 blown saves, though. That was a lot. 13 blown saves. Are you kidding me? Wow. All right. Let's see the rest of the squad. Aaron Nola. You know what? He hasn't let me down yet. So, like, we're looking good. Zach Wheeler was a pretty solid number two. Marco Gonzalez was a good pickup for us. Spencer Howard still trying to figure out that, that stuff. And then, you know what? BJ Elkins. I'm telling you, it's BJ season. I mean, don't. Oh, jeez. All right. Anyway, <laughs> um, our bench was okay. Nothing special. Bryson Stott, pretty solid. You know what? That's that's the stuff I was looking for from him. You know, 290 average, 350 on base percentage. There we go. Kyle Lewis, great pickup for us. Alec Bohm is turning into a beast. Fran Mill, obviously a beast. Reese Hoskins, insane. You got Dom T. Williams. I'm telling you, this was a huge pickup for us right here. I mean, on such a cheap contract, too. Dylan Carlson, there we go. That's what I that's what I was looking for when I traded for him. Now, now we're starting to figure it out. 24 years old too. Jose Montanez took a little step back, but you know what? We can work with it. Tyler Stevenson's there. I mean, this is a young team too. 25, 27, 26, 27, 30. Okay, but 27, 24, 20, 26. Like this is this is a young team that's putting up really good numbers. So, all right postseason time and we all right we advanced there we're taking on the rockies now okay so i am gonna let i'm gonna i'm gonna give it to bj elkins i have faith in the young the youngster he gets us the win there we go we get a second win as well we lose that one we lose that one i'm gonna take away this start from spencer howard we we really need to uh you know kind of 
put some put some things together here. We we can't we can't afford to go down two to three. We win that one, and then Wheeler versus Marquez. We advance. We made the World Series taking on the Angels. And I would love to let BJ Elkins start, but instead I'm gonna go Nola, Wheeler, Elkins, and then I'm gonna go Gonzalez and Howard. That is how we're gonna go into this World Series against the Angels. Yes, the Angels. We win the first, we win the second. BJ Elkins, the rookie, gets us that third win. We're one game away from a World Series, and I, I gotta put Aaron Nola here. Like it's it's gotta be done. Like we I I can't keep I can't keep just hoping and praying we win. We gotta we gotta put this to bed. Boom, we do. Whoo! We got the World Series on a pretty pretty cheap cheap team. Like yeah, we have money kind of spread out here and there, but to be honest, like we were able to keep. Um, I mean, we really built a young team. You know, like that's really what it was. We got rid of some of those bigger contracts and replaced the big contracts that we had with you know like we got rid of harper we paid nola that's basically what happened so we did it i mean i'm pretty happy with it who was the mvp that's the first world series that's happened in a while and i saw you whoever commented that i don't need that negativity in my chat um <laughs> oh man i saw that comment and i got so sad <laughs> uh the comment was like i can't remember the last time ant won a world series or something like that oh man um world series mvp dylan carlson there we go man there we go so let's take a look at the squad real quick how everybody did yo bj elkins he did the work he did the work so all right i mean everybody did this that's a that's a solid pitching staff right there and then offensively you know what it got the job done reese hoskins was like he just didn't miss he hit 352 in the postseason and that's how it's gonna end i hope you did enjoy it if you did thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content and of course get in the comment section let me know what video you want to see next if you're a phillies fan let me know how you're feeling about this because it's looking like you're gonna have some sadness for quite some time so that's it guys two videos are on screen check them out if you haven't yet make sure you follow all social medias especially my twitter and i'll catch you all in the next one peace